Hey guys, so here is my take on the uh, Game of Thrones finale and it's also uh, kind of a five reasons you should read the books and also five reasons why I didn't like the show, at least the ending of the show. So I'm gonna read it from my computer because I don't want to have to memorize it, but yeah. I hope you enjoy and if you haven't that my reason gives you motivation to read the books maybe anyways so here is what I truly believe that the TV show hasn't portrayed the story that is to come in the two books that are still to be released still two books to release there's a lot happening in each book, so there's still a lot of stories to be told. First and foremost, the overall story of the song of A Song of Ice and Fire is a story that is breaking codes in many ways, like it did in the show at the beginning. And I don't believe that such a clean ending with all the poor people who faced injustice in the first season end up being ruling and exploring the world in a not perfect but very good condition. You know, it's a little too nice. I don't know, we were not used to that from the guy who who wrote the books, you know. Uh, I'll have to mention that the first couple seasons were actually fairly accurate but yeah, there was some liberties that were acceptable and then we don't know because the story hasn't finished in the books. Second, I know that for a fact there are some characters, some arcs that have ended in the TV show which are still mysterious in the books and those people will have a big, a small, whatever, they'll have an impact on the story which will make it better. Third, my third reason would be that uh, this end felt a little bit too much Hollywood, uh, Hollywood friendly. The writer, especially J.R. Martins, it's kind of related to the first reason, but yeah, it's, it's just he doesn't care, the writers in general, they don't care about Hollywood or things like that, they write what they want to write, and uh, whether it pleases the people or not, they want to tell a story. Uh, that's not the case when show business and when, uh, yeah, all of that is in place, is in motion, so I have a pretty big feeling that it will be very different because of that. Then, like I said, it's my feeling, so maybe I'm wrong. I hope not, but maybe I'm wrong. My fourth reason is that uh, was while I was reading the books, I was always amazed by the... And I, that's one of the reasons why I managed to read. I'm not a big reader, but I managed to read all of those massive books. It's because it's just the way it's written. You just feel it and you just always want to know what's next because it's really like captivating and really well written and and yeah it's just it's always shifting the show in a way has that but in a very much more hollywood way like i said it's just as they do it in tv shows and so the, the fact about the books is that i was always uh, surprised and positively surprised with the TV show, it went the other way, and like uh, you really get build up from the books, and the, the TV show kind of like put me down in like eh, really. So yeah, that's my take on it. I'm not, I'm not convinced by the TV show anymore. Uh, I never really was actually, but yeah. Uh, so filthy or filthy, depending on what you like. Uh, Finally, uh, the, five the fifth reason w is that uh, it's kind of related to the fourth one and it's not really worth mentioning because uh, every, every pricks that 
has read books that were adapted will tell it to you so it's not really worth saying but I'm gonna say it anyway books are always better than the adaption so yeah and that's me being a prick about what HBO has done with Game of Thrones and really 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 hoping that there's gonna be better stuff coming in the books no when we don't know so yeah uh, so yeah uh, as an ending I'll say that uh, if you consider yourself as a fan of Game of Thrones as the TV show is called uh, and you haven't read the books A Song of Ice and Fire you're not really a fan like you're a fan of the TV show maybe but you're not you're not a fan you're not a big enough fan to have read the books you know uh, I kind of see those adaptation is true for a lot of them no matter if you saw the adaptation or if you read the book first and things like that it's it's kind of like a build up like a more about the story and things like that but it's also a very much of a, an appetizer for the people, the real fan who are hungry for more. They watch the movies for the Lord of the Ring and because they love the movies so much, they want to know all about Middle Earth and they read the books. Uh, here with Wetros, it's the same. You have eight seasons, so it's a lot more than three movies, you know? six if you count whatever but um, it's, it's eight seasons and it's still just an appetizer if you really want to know and if you really want to be a fan of restaurants I have read the book once I don't I'm a fan but I don't know much like I know stuff but I don't know everything in details uh, I don't ha always have a great memory for that but definitely read the books and once you have read the books you can consider yourself a fan yeah all right so i hope uh, you are not too offended by what i'm saying if you are i don't care but thanks for watching remember that if it's easy it's not funny here same reading all the books it's not as easy but it's more funny uh, and see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.